Imagine a machine that combines raw power, unmatched armor, and precision firepower capable of turning entire battlefields into deadly chessboards in seconds. Two of the most feared tanks in the world, the American M1 of Abrams and the Russian T-14 Armada are redefining armored warfare, pushing the limits of modern military engineering and dominating conversations in defense circles. Today, we're diving deep into these mechanical beasts to understand what makes them so deadly from their sleek exteriors to their cutting edge interiors, jaw dropping performance, innovative safety features and unique selling points. By the end of this breakdown, you'll know exactly why these tanks are at the top of the world's most lethal armored vehicles and what sets them apart from every other tank ever built. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a closer look at two of the most advanced tanks on the planet, the M1 Abrams from the United States and the T-14 Armada from Russia. Both represent decades of technological development, battlefield experience, and engineering innovation. We're going to break down their exteriors, interiors, performance, safety features, unique selling points, and even touch on their prices to give you a full picture of what makes these machines the apex predators of armored warfare. Starting with the exterior of the M1 Abrams, this tank is a symbol of American engineering dominance. Its angular, aggressive design is not just for aesthetics, Every slope and angle is calculated to deflect incoming rounds. The tank is covered in composite armor reinforced with depleted uranium layers, providing it with exceptional protection against both kinetic energy penetrators and chemical energy warheads. The Abrams features a low profile turret and heavily sloped frontal armor that enhances its survivability on the battlefield. Its 120mm smoothbore cannon dominates the armament category, capable of firing a variety of shells, including armor, piercing fin, stabilized, discarding Sabot rounds, high explosive anti-tank, and multi-purpose rounds. In addition, it comes equipped with a coaxial machine gun, a commander's 50 caliber, and a loader 7.62 Mummerd machine gun, giving it formidable secondary firepower. The tank rides on robust tracks designed to handle rough terrain. While the hull's design prioritizes both mobility and protection, the T-14 Armada, on the other hand, showcases Russia's modern approach to tank design. Its exterior is futuristic and highly functional, with a fully unmanned turret and a hull that appears almost skeletal, but is incredibly strong. The modular armor can be upgraded, and the front-facing panels include reactive armor capable of exploding outward to neutralize incoming projectiles. The T-14 also features the Afghanit Active Protection System, which detects and destroys incoming missiles before they hit the tank. Its 120 FIVA no laundered smoothbore cannon can fire guided missiles, giving it a longer reach than conventional tank guns, and it is paired with a coaxial machine gun and remote controlled secondary weapons. The tank's tracks are designed to handle icy terrain and rough landscapes typical of Russian operational zones. The stealthy design, angled armor, and low radar profile make it as much a technological marvel as it is a battlefield threat Moving inside, the interiors of both tanks are focused on crew efficiency and battlefield survivability. The Abrams interior is designed for a four-man crew commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The layout is practical and purpose-driven with advanced fire control systems, thermal imaging, and laser rangefinders giving the crew an almost 360-degree awareness of their surroundings. While the space is cramped, everything is positioned for maximum efficiency in high-stress combat scenarios. The T-14 Armada, with its unmanned turret, takes interior design to another level by housing the three-person crew in an armored capsule at the front of the hull. This crew capsule is fully isolated, heavily armored, and equipped with an advanced computer interface, giving operators full control without exposure to battlefield hazards. The emphasis here is not just on comfort, but on keeping the crew alive under conditions that would be fatal in conventional tanks. 
When it comes to performance, both tanks push the limits of armored mobility and firepower. The Abrams is powered by a gas turbine engine capable of over 1,500 horsepower, giving it a top speed of approximately 42 miles per hour on road and impressive acceleration for a vehicle of its size. Its suspension and track system provide excellent cross-country mobility and the tank can climb steep gradients and ford rivers with relative ease. The fire control system allows for precise targeting on the move even while traversing rugged terrain. The T-14 Armada, in contrast, uses a diesel engine producing around 1,500 horsepower, providing a comparable top speed but slightly better fuel efficiency. Its advanced suspension allows the tank to maintain stability while firing on the move and provides smooth handling over rough terrain. What sets the Armada apart is the integration of its active protection system and automated ammunition handling, which reduces reaction times and increases the effectiveness of its 125 mm cannon, especially against high-value targets. Safety features are where these tanks demonstrate just how far technology has come. The Abrams incorporates multiple layers of armor, a spall liner inside the turret to reduce fragmentation injuries, and a fire suppression system to protect the crew from internal explosions. Its design prioritizes survivability even when struck by modern anti-tank weapons, making it one of the safest tanks for its crew. The T-14 Armada goes a step further with its armored crew capsule and unmanned turret, isolating operators from the most dangerous parts of the vehicle. Its Afghanit active protection system can intercept incoming missiles or shells in mid flight, drastically reducing the chance of penetration. Additional sensors alert the crew to chemical, biological, or radiation threats and the layout ensures escape routes in extreme situations. Both tanks emphasize survival as much as offensive capability, but the Armada's approach represents a more futuristic philosophy of crew safety. Unique selling points make these tanks not just weapons, but symbols of military power. The Abrams is renowned for its combat-tested reliability, proven in multiple conflicts from the Gulf War to operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Its versatility, upgradability, and widespread global support network make it a favorite among U.S. allies. The tank's 120 dollars smoothbore cannon, combined with its composite armor and battlefield, tested electronics, ensures it remains a threat to any adversary. The T-14 Armada's selling points are equally impressive, but take a different approach. Its unmanned turret, automated systems, and active protection features make it, make it one of the most advanced and least exposed tank designs in the world. Its ability to fire guided missiles from its main gun extends its reach, while the modular armor system allows rapid upgrades as new threats emerge. The Armada represents a leap into next-generation armored warfare, blending automation, survivability, and firepower in ways that challenge traditional tank design concepts. Pricing for these tanks reflects both their capabilities and the economies of their respective countries. The M1 Abrams costs approximately 8.5 million per unit, which includes its advanced armor, electronics, and firepower systems. Operational and maintenance costs are high due to the gas turbine engine and the logistical support needed to keep it combat ready, but the price is justified by its proven performance and battlefield dominance. The T-14 Armada's price is harder to pin down due to limited production and strategic secrecy, but estimates range around six to seven million per unit. While slightly less expensive, the Armada represents cutting-edge innovation, and its cost reflects the advanced technologies packed into its smaller crew, footprint, and automated systems. Both tanks are premium military investments designed to deliver unmatched performance on the battlefield. In conclusion, comparing the M1 Abrams and T-14 Armada is like comparing two different philosophies of armored warfare. The Abrams emphasizes proven reliability, 
human-centered operation and battlefield-tested design, combining immense firepower with survivable armor. The T-14 Armada, meanwhile, emphasizes cutting edge technology, automation, and crew protection through innovation, reshaping what modern tanks can do. Both are formidable, both are deadly, and both dominate their respective theaters of operation in ways few other tanks could dream of. Whether you value battle proven experience or next generation innovation, these machines represent the pinnacle of tank engineering today. Ultimately, the choice between the Abrams and Armada depends on your priorities, raw combat experience and reliability versus technological advancement and crew survivability through automation. What's undeniable is that both tanks are at the forefront of modern armored warfare, each capable of turning the tide of battle with precision, protection, and devastating firepower. From their intimidating exteriors to their life, saving interiors, from their powerful engines to their advanced defensive systems, these tanks are not just machines, they're symbols of national strength, engineering prowess, and battlefield dominance. By understanding their capabilities, you gain insight into the future of armored combat. The Abrams demonstrates why decades of refinement and experience matter. While the Armada shows what the future holds for unmanned turrets, automated systems, and integrated protection networks, both tanks are benchmarks, each setting standards that will influence armored vehicle design for years to come. Whether you're a military enthusiast, a tech aficionado, or just fascinated by machines built for war, the battle between the Abrams and Armada is a story of innovation, strategy, and human ingenuity wrapped in metal and firepower. These tanks are more than just weapons. They are engineering marvels designed to survive, dominate, and adapt to the most challenging combat conditions on Earth. From deserts to frozen tundras, from high intensity conflict zones to peacekeeping operations, they demonstrate the pinnacle of what modern militaries can achieve when technology, tactics, and sheer engineering excellence come together. With the Abrams proven combat track record and the Armada's futuristic approach, armored warfare has entered a new era where survival, automation, and precision are just as important as raw power. In the end, whether you lean towards the rugged, battlefield-tested M1 Abrams or the revolutionary T-14 Armada, the truth is that the era of the super tank is here, and it is more fascinating and complex than ever. Each vehicle tells a story, not just of destruction, but of human creativity, resilience, and the constant drive to push technology to its limits. These machines are a testament to what happens when engineers and strategists think decades ahead, combining firepower, protection, and innovation into something truly legendary. So next time you hear about a tank showdown, remember it's not just about which one can fire faster or withstand more shells, it's about the philosophy behind the design, the strategy behind the deployment, and the sheer ingenuity that makes these tanks deadly and unforgettable. The M1 Abrams and T-14 Armada aren't just part of history, they're shaping the future of warfare, and watching them evolve is like witnessing the ultimate chess match on the world's deadliest battlefield.